Hi there, here's Rondo York and I've literally just taken this one, this R50, out of the box and you can tell it is very dirty, has been used, has been recolored, it's a bit rusty. But the reason why I took this out is because that's the, probably the biggest nail which you can see here, which I've ever seen in a locomotive stick, stuck to uh, a magnet. I know you've all seen nails stuck to locomotives so let's see what else we can find in this one so the the chimney now you can appreciate this is broken so it's broken off at some point the screw is a rather rusty i'll gently well you can't really gently open it it's it's completely i can tell the screw is stuck to the to the chimney and the chimney comes out or the screw comes out with the chimney so the original screw, let's place the screw there. Let's take it out. And then apart from the broken off steps on one side and three missing buffers and a bit of crack here, this R52, which is an old version. I think it's a bit bent. I don't know whether you can appreciate this. It's still working. So it must be the original one because this is or the original old and couplings and inside here you can see it is really dirty and oh, that's the most amazing nail i've ever seen so we've got one big nail and you can tell the magnets is still very strong so i'll take the nail away don't need this nail anymore there's a little nail as well and then the the locomotive overall is very dusty and just these here unfortunately it. are Well, I'll bend it back in its original form and put it back onto the wheels. Next, I'll give the engine just a very basic clean. So I just need to take a one of these Q-tips, uh, some to remove all the dog hair, and God knows what else is stuck to this. Engine. Now, before I try whether she's working, I'll just give her a little bit of oil, just because I'm a nice guy. So a drop of oil here. Oops, there's a little bit too much probably. And here, and here, and here, and here, and here, here, and here, here, and here. Then I just turn the motor to get the oil <coughs> into the gears. Um, I don't know what are the pickups are. So these pickups here are clearly not in contact with the rest so maybe i just quickly open this part here as well before i even try to put her on the track now the problem which we have is that often the old solder places positions have come off i hope i don't have to re-solder the wires in this model so if i'm very gentle and I'll bend these flaps a bit out, so outwards. I may be lucky, and it may just be enough. Right. So certainly they're now in contact again. Then I just put the, the base which, plate uh, back onto the chassis. And now I just have to find out where the locomotive works, and I'll give her a try on my rolling road, which I've made with this uh, Triang System 4 track and the rolling road elements, which you can buy online for a little money. The rolling road is connected and... Yeah, yeah, there's some movement. Um... There is some movement coming along here. Yep, she is. She is moving. Only not as well as she should, so let's see what else could be the issue. This uh, doesn't well, seem to do the job, so next I will apply electricity straight to the brushes.
I assume just the wheels need also a good clean before they're well let's see what happens if I connect to get again to the wheels yeah I think the, the pickups and the wheels are just too dirty um, yeah so the connection I think it's still the connection to the pickup which so is I'll just clean all the wheels place. here on the track and add a bit of oil look the rusty parts and see how it goes So yeah, um, overall, overall this is a rather satisfying experience. I just remove a little bit more of the dust here. And the other side as well. I have to clean the body with a PFA in order to get rid of the stain and in order to get rid of the PFA I wash it with water. Next I straighten all the couplings. Last but not least I add a little bit of oil to the rusty couplings in order to prevent further rust. Now the only thing I still have to do is Put the chimney back. The situation with the chimney is a bit frustrating, but there's not really much we can do. Just to make sure I don't put too much rust on it. Put it here. A bit nervous about this. All right. Probably okay. And now, last but not least, final test run. We will have to turn the camera over. Right, as you can tell, this locomotive has now been cleans the body is not dirty anymore and the wheels are spinning in both directions just as they should i'm just always amazed by how well this old locomotive works despite having been stored away for years in a cupboard that's just good old toy engineering which unfortunately we don't get anymore these days sometimes all it takes is a nail extraction. I hope you've enjoyed this video and hopefully see you soon again. Thanks for watching.